All right, this is just a real quick clip, four-minute clip of uh, Tony saying that he works for Sterling and then saying he doesn't work for Sterling. So um, here you go. Okay, and they're asking this possible challenge of reserve. Say it's Sterling. They say all is well. If the dinar dong revalues, they will buy same at market rate, competitive with banks. So far, so good. They then must have our reserves as hard currency in their possession to sell to get cash to pay us, correct? If they didn't, they would have to have many millions, if not billions, to pay out. You want to go into a little detail for that for them? I would if I knew what you said. <laughs> you know what you said. <laughs> I know, I'm reading it in order the way he said it, but, you know, he's literally ta he's, he's saying that um, once, once they have our reserve, they have our reserves as, as hard currency, which they have to have in their possession to sell to get cash to pay us. And that's something we've talked about with other dealers, you know, where they would get the backing to... Um, to oh, to pay us for our reserves. Did we put in a sale order? Yes. Okay. Uh, guys, uh, you know, that's their business, um, and each one of them is a little bit different, I'm quite sure. And some of them, I just personally feel, this is my opinion, are going to have some issues with giving you your money or your dinar, and you're going to learn that. And others um, have a relationship already with, with certain banks. Uh, when this goes, they'll be able to finance them in doing what they're doing. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, I think Sterling is a solid uh, company since I've been working for them, 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 since I've been working for them. The plan that he's given me or told me about and the process that they would go through, uh, I, I think is a good one. I got confidence in it. That, that's where I bought mine from. That's the best I can tell you. Okay. I don't work for anybody. He, but yes, that, to answer his question, yes, I, I do have confidence in in them. Now I don't know because yeah, I don't own the company, but we'll see. Hold hold on, Pam. Let me try this real quick. Well, let me see. Every time I do that and hit one of them, then it freezes up, and I got to wait for it to come back so I can go to the next one. Okay, Tony. The members um, in the chat room heard you say that you worked for Sterling. Uh, no, I don't I work. Working for him. <laughs> I was the first call. Okay, they heard me say I don't work for Sterling. None of them heard me say I work for Sterling. Well, I and I wouldn't that. have said that if my wife hadn't said, "Tell me you don't work for Sterling." Because no. I don't, because she didn't know what the question was. So, and everybody here already knows that. So I don't know that I got to repeat that anyway. And if I did work for him, they owe me three years worth of back pay. <laughs> All right, uh, and uh, Pam, I just got that text, and I have never, ever worked for Sterling, and I want to make that clear to everybody, and I never said I worked for Sterling. I said I never worked for Sterling. I think Sterling is a solid co uh, company since I've been working for them, since I've been working for them, since I've been working for them, just so everybody understands it. Oh, well, no, I didn't. I've never worked for Sterling. Never had a job for them, anything else. Now, I, I do think they're a good company, as long as I've been buying from them. I so didn't. are you telling me that you don't get paid to pump dinar then? The moderator has left the conference. <laughs> oh, that's the best.